if I accept that point, will you also accept that there's more of an industry bashing Islam and trying to just uh, give it a bad name than there is Christianity? Tell me, when was the last politician you heard mention the word Christophobia? Well, I haven't heard many people mention Christophobia. Did, as Theresa May spoke about Islamophobia? She's mentioned it, but they haven't tackled it. The BBC broadcast the Jerry Springer opera mocking the Christian faith but refused to publish the cartoons that were mocking Mohammed. That same level of discourse about Christophobia emanating from among certain sections of the Muslim community, there is no discourse about it whatsoever. I know it's wrong, but I haven't lived in a um, majority Muslim country. I've been there for a couple of months. This ain't no Muslim majority country, this is London. Yeah, but there's some areas which are more built up. So don't you see a problem? It depends, but I, there might be problems with people leaving Christianity to Muslims. Like I've seen examples of English people who've left. Christianity become Muslim and they face problems as well. You understand that like the vast majority of English people are not even Christian and just claim that name yeah, culturally. They're more proud of their parents and yeah. their grandparents being Christian. Yeah. So like I mean we, we you, do you know about the Nisar family? And what no, happened to them? Like they they were of Pakistani Muslims, an entire family became Christian and they were they were they, I mean they lived in a, a Muslim area because they were Muslim and they lived in a, a majority Muslim area. This one family became Christian and then their neighbours turned against them, their friends who were Muslims turned against them, they started to suffer harassment, uh, their property started to be damaged and then... And was that an area mostly built up with Muslims? Yes, and this was so in like Bradford. segregated like Bradford, that's what I'm saying, like Bradford. Bradford. Yep. And and in then, London, I wouldn't have tasted that. And, and, then, and then what resulted from <laughs> that, what that. resulted from that is that People, I'm going to go and pray in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. People were physically attacked. They, they were physically attacked. Did they, no, they have no Muslim sympathizers or Christians to come and protect them? Well, I, I, this is a good question because really that demonstrates the absolute shambolic nature of the church. That Christians didn't come to defend and support just Christian, them. Just a good, a good human being. Well, what I think what happened was, was I think getting, a Sikh came out. If I knew someone was getting, I think it was a Sikh discriminated like yeah. in my local area or in the community simply because of their religion. I think I you think about I think it. if I'm remembering the story properly, and I'm not saying that I do. I think that a Sikh who was passing by intervened. The guy was attacked with baseball bats. It's all caught on camera. It hit the national news. So they go to the police and they charge. You know, yeah, you know, they went to the police, and you know what the police said? They went to the police multiple times about the harassment and the vandalism. The police said there's nothing that they can do. They just said to the family, "You have to move out of Bradford," and then they escorted them out under armed guard. Out of Bradford. I'm not, I'm not, just, I'm not Holland, justifying bro. it. I'm that's not in, justifying it. I know you're not, and I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying there's English people I personally know who have been tarnished and like, have you, can rejected you, by their families can you give because me, they can became you, Muslim. Can you give me an example of where an English family have I'm beat, not going to quote people's names. And yeah, but can you give me an example of where someone has been beat with a baseball bat because they've become a Muslim? In England? Yes. No, I can't give you an example. I, I'm giving you an example of where Muslims have physically attacked a Christian for leaving Islam. They no, beat him with that. a baseball bat. I, I know you do. That. I'm not saying you're trying to justify it. I don't accuse you. I'm not you know, seeing you like everyone. We're raised in London. Something like that is a bit strange and not familiar to me. You're talking about in segregated areas of northern England where some of those communities don't even say hello to an English person or Yeah, English but this was person. a Pakistani Muslim who became a Christian. He was friends with his neighbours. What you saying is worse they because he was same Pakistani, Pakistani, that we said. Yeah, he's, he's, his own, the, the people that he had once considered friends turned against him. The guy is suffering from post-traumatic stress because of the attack. His name is Nisor. Go and look up the story. saying that happened strictly because he turned... Um, because he became a Christian. And the bishops failed him. They didn't help him. Yeah? But, but more to the point, more to the point, yeah? I think that, that long before Muslims should push this industry about, oh, you've got to deal with Islamophobia, the Muslim community's got to deal with Christophobia. Why can't you deal with both at the same time? 
I think I'm you not can. put Islamophobia to one side. I, I on think you, you shall you should deal with both at the same time. However, what I see in, in our society is the fact that we have the state banging on about Islamophobia not and really, totally silent really. about Christophobia. Most of the plots to go and blow up mosques and stuff like okay. that, they don't get main so when, Tell me, when was the last politician you heard mention the word Christophobia? Well, I haven't heard many people mention Christophobia. Did, has Theresa May spoke about Islamophobia? She's mentioned it, but they haven't tackled it. There's just a lot of it's hot air. Most of the cases, if you go and research, honestly, if you go and research online cases of people like National Action and subordinates of them driving towards mosques with explosives, with weapons, you can't find me another case of a Muslim driving to a church doing that. Um, excuse me, hold on one second. Not, not by we sheer have... numbers, not by sheer numbers. No, hold on one I'm second. Talking about let's, the main let, let's, just let's just be clear. Let's just be clear, right? In this country, there have been um, terrorist attacks by groups like, you know, extreme ethno-nationalist groups, and I condemn them all. I'm saying they don't get the headlines, they, are, they come as a little sorry, snippet at the they end are, of the They are dwarfed in number of the number of conspiracies broken up by MI5 of Islamist plots to kill innocent people in this country. I can't confirm that. That's just a fact. The, 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 and this is the point I would say to you, bro, is that... I'm not turning a blind eye to them and just... But, magnif but, but, what, I'm not magnifying they, what the Christians are doing. The I'm Christians, just saying... Are you, did, sorry, did you just equate national oh, action with okay, Christians? Okay, the non-Muslims, whatever you want to... However you want to class it. Let's be clear, like, Christians... Okay, but some of them don't claim Christianity, do don't they? Okay, but a lot of these national action and Britain first and Tommy Robinson fans, they claim this is a Christian country. We all want our country to be back Christian. That's what they say. That's quote what but they say. Yeah, yeah, they do. But let's be clear about... The same as the Muslims are saying they're going to commit these terrorist acts. They're just claiming but, to be Muslim. But let's be clear. Yeah. When, when, so you know... You can't when, say for one... Let, let's just oh, deal with that. Not Christian we groups like not Britain Muslim. first. We groups like Britain first who talk about Half this country... Posts, I've got a cross this, this country being Christian, they are not claiming uh, Christianity in any way other than as a cultural moniker. I don't think it's fair for but, you to jump but, in people like Paul Gold and but I noticed, and say I noticed, what he's claiming. I noticed you quickly as you could got off the topic of, of the Christophobic prejudice amongst the Muslim, uh, the large sections of the Muslim no, I didn't community. jump off the topic. All I said to you was, you said to me, you never quote Christophobia, only Islamophobia. You said, shall we deal with that name first? Me, name me a politician. No, first you said, shall we deal with it first? And I said to you, can we deal with both of them at yeah. the same time? And then, and then you told me I Theresa said, May, and then how many I times did she mention Christophobia? Exactly. How many times she mentioned Islamophobia? Yeah, exactly. Then I told you, with regards to Islamophobia, a lot of it is mouth. A lot of it is coming on the TV and trying to psychologically make Muslims feel better. Did, did you? But when there was instances of Punish a Muslim Day, there wasn't any extra kind of safeguarding. Oh, yeah. Or I mean, the, the, the Punish the Muslim Day, what a lot of bollocks. Like, yeah, it's a lot, like, you it say is. it's a lot of bollocks. No, 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 I'm not. No, listen, listen, listen. No, I'm not dis no, no you misunderstood what I said. I don't want to disregard it. You said, you, you said you misunderstood it. what I well, said. You weren't no, sitting, no, wait, you you weren't sitting inside Muslim when I, when people's I houses said, no, you've when their mothers and you've sisters were saying, I don't want to go out for the day. You've misunderstood. You Are you listening? When I said it's a load of bollocks, I wasn't saying it's a load of bollocks, it's a myth or it's a load of bollocks, it didn't happen. I'm saying it's a load of bollocks, what an idiot would kind of okay, do, what fine, kind of fine, person fine. would that's do that. But I understand why you misunderstood. What I am saying... But that's, that's what I, that's what what I mean. I'm saying, it's when a load you, of bollocks. When you say to me, well, hold on. I'm just going back to that original point, to Richard May, you said she mentions Islamophobia so much. Yeah, all, I'm saying all it's the all mouth, classes. It's all mouth talk. So, just as she's not mentioning Christopher, uh, Christianophobia as much, I'm saying on the okay. ground they're not they're, they're not doing anything at all. So, so how not many? They're not making Muslims. How many? Safer. How many? You know, like how many times have we seen or heard in the media of Muslims being arrested for for um, vandalizing Christian churches in this country? Because it happens. Yeah, it does happen. But it's not reported in the same but way. Say, in the same way that those idiots who put bacon on a mosque or chuck a, a pig's head on a mosque, it's not reported no, in the same at way. At the same time, I'll be honest with you. Most of those incidents that take place, I don't find them on BBC or ITV. You might find a yes, fraction you do. of them. No, a fraction of them, them you time. do. Most of them you find it like Muslim newsletters, people like Tell Mama, NGOs, stuff like that. Yeah. That's where most of the stories you find. You only find a fraction of what happens to Muslims in this country on the news. Why? Even in your community, someone getting spat on, women with niqabs on, being harassed up. I know people with wives with niqabs, yeah, I, I and they tell me it's a daily thing. Yeah. Harassment. Yeah. yeah. Bustles, you mean like you mean like the, you mean like the everyday people? You mean like the Christian couple where the Muslim had converted to Christianity and they are being harassed in the streets of London? 
because she converted to Christianity because she fell in love with Christianity. I'm not Christian. denying that's happening. You do, I'm, just, I'm not denying all, I'm, I'm not trying denying, to say. I'm not denying all, my argue, all my argument is where you said, oh, Islamophobia has been highlighted so much in the media. It has. But phobia against, even Christ, against Christians, yeah, it, it, it's not. What I'm saying, even if it is, it's just mouth work. On the ground, there's no safeguarding, there's no support. There's nothing to come and help the Muslim community when they get attacked. They just send their little uh, article to tell Mama, it gets put on Facebook, a few comments, and then roll over. Be clear. That's what happens. Let, let, let's be clear. Even if no, Theresa May is mentioning it, yeah, I'm sorry, there's but nothing much it, happening I'm, on I'm the sorry, ground. I'm sorry, the, the, fact, the very fact that there's even a word called Islamophobia and no equivalent about Christophobia yeah, but that's not something to country. take up with a Muslim. Do you mind though, if I can speak? That's not to take up with Do you mind if media? I can speak? Yeah, yeah the, in, in term, the fact that, that there's all, this entire industry around Islamophobia, but there's no counter-narrative about the Christophobia emanating from within the Muslim community demonstrates, the time, demonstrates, demonstrates both a conceit for those who are speaking for the Muslim community, because they won't talk about Christophobia amongst Muslims, but also a profound ignorance of political statement. political correctness by the liberal establishment who talk tolerance but only want to deal with certain yeah, kinds of prejudice. You just made my point. I'm saying Theresa May talking about Islamophobia or something. It's talk. On the ground, when these things happen, when attacks happen and the next day our, our mothers and sisters want to wear their headscarf in a different way not to be noticed as Muslim or stay in the house. You're not there. You're not sitting there feeling that uh, psychological trauma. You're, you're not, That's you're, what I'm trying yeah, to tell you're you. You're not sitting there feeling the psychological yeah, but trauma I'm not, of yeah, but Muslims I'm not telling who are you, being harassed yeah, in this country. Fine. That's fine, but I'm not telling you that Christianophobia and Islamophobia is lesser than the other. You're telling me that there's a focus on Islamophobia. There is. But nothing's being done about it. How come it's getting worse if there's such a focus? Right, so on let, let's just deal with that, right? We, we, we have a, a, a whole system of propaganda and, and education in this country tackling Islamophobia. The very fact that we have a term, one second, the very fact that we have a term Islamophobia means that there is a discourse about the topic because it has created a new word that didn't exist in the English language before. I agree, maybe there's more discourse. Right, but, but yeah, yeah. that same level of discourse about Christophobia emanating from among certain sections of the Muslim community, there is no discourse about it whatsoever at all and the very fact that Theresa May has mentioned Islamophobia and spoken against Islamophobia but has never spoken against the Christophobia emanating from the Muslim community or sections of it to be to be more accurate demonstrates the fact that our liberal state has more of a focus on prejudice against you as a Muslim than they do about prejudice against me as a Christian if I accept that point, will you also accept that there's more of an industry bashing Islam and trying to just, uh, give it a bad name than there is Christianity? Do um, you accept that? I, I would this ac whole flood of the far right, which is coming into Europe, backed by Bannon, would you say it's got more money and funding Muslims trying to bash Islam, so, I mean bash Christianity and uh, give it a bad name? So, so, so let, let me address that point directly. There are definitely those who are seeking to resist Islamization. And many, that's, well, not, me, that's not fair. Let I'm me, telling you, can I, can to I, mock Islam, can not I reply? resist Islam. Can I reply? Yeah. There are definitely those who are organising to resist Islamization, and some of that is legitimate. It's good. Some of it is wrong. And those, those, those that, those that, sorry, those that, those that simply target Muslims violently or in in any way just because they are Muslim, for me, I condemn. But those who seek to prevent Islamization legally, through politics, through the use of economics, through the use of religious discourse, um, those people I, I support because I'm against Have Islamization. Have you found that it's all just merged into one big group? So how can I stand by this group on Let the me, one hand, I, I wanna, they want to fight things like grooming gangs and extremism, I do wanna, and on the other hand they're like, defaming my religion. I can't stand by I them want, and support them. I do want to address, I do want to address the fullness of your question. Because the fact of the matter is, what's happened in Western Europe is that it has become politically acceptable to attack the Christian faith, to mock Christians. And Christians have made themselves the doormats of the world I've never accepted because we're like, we, I'm, not, I'm not saying you did. I mean, I talk to you like I do because me and you, I think, have got a decent rapport. But the, the point is that Christians, like the Guardian, the Guardian is a national newspaper that regularly 
villainise as Christians. Channel 4 ran a, a documentary villainising Christians for standing against abortion. And it was totally acceptable. The BBC broadcast the Jerry Springer opera mocking the Christian faith, but refused to publish the cartoons that were mocking Muhammad. So there are, it, there, it has become acceptable no, to mock the Christian point, faith. I agree on that point, even growing up in the late 90s, early 2000s, People used to make jokes about religion and Christianity and Jesus, and I, I never accepted it. Maybe, I know, I'm not saying maybe you having some Christian family and thinking of them, I, I didn't accept it. Yeah. But a lot of my friends that grew up, and some of these people you're talking about, and a lot of them that are in this drive against Islamization, they were the guys taking the mickey out of Christianity and Jesus. Yeah, I know. This is why. This is why I, I would say to all of these people that are in groups like the EDL and and the DFLA and all these other and, 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 and all of those kind of groups. I would say to you that if all you're doing is hating Islam, if that's all you can do, give it up because you're, you're fighting to a dead end. If you can't offer something better than Islam, shut up. If, if you aren't willing to reclaim your Christian heritage, stop whinging about Islamization. Because the way to defeat Islamization is to stand solidly on something better than Islam. And there is something better than Islam. It's called being a disciple of Christ. It's called being a Christian. Because just to be clear, I've made no secret about it. I am against Islam. Yeah, I'm against that, Islamization. That's why we're here discussing it. Yeah, we're but, not but, but I would not, unless you took up arms against me, yeah. I would not justify anyone taking up arms against you. I've got to go and pray, but I just want to say that everyone busying themselves with uh, discrediting other people's religions or Christianity, where it might, you might find it in the park, if you spent as much time judging yourself, you'd be ten times better than any human in the park. So uh, I, a sentiment I agree with. Right. You have go a, pray, look after yourself. Have, have a nice salad. Right. Speak to you soon. I am blind by the light. Are there any questions before I go and find Abbas? Okay. Any questions? Is Hashim around? Come on, Hashim. I have. Come on, Hashim. It's time for Mother. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be on camera. You, you could. What's the question? I was going to ask. Who do you think are the biggest proponents of? You know, you talked about anti-Christian sentiment. Who yeah. are the biggest proponents of? Well, I mean, there, there are certainly uh, there's a, a, a feminist toxic. Christophobia emanating from certain sections of the Islamic community that is not being discussed in British society. Um, they, that's certainly a major party in the in, in the sort of Christophobia prejudice that we see. But then, second to that, and possibly much more influential, is that amongst the internationalist elites, uh, the sort of liberal progressive do-gooder groups, there is a, an innate anti-Christian narrative that we see coming through the media constantly. So I, I, remember, I remember just after a terrorist attack, uh, 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 an Islamist terrorist attack in London, EastEnders, you know, funded by the BBC, ran a story about a Christian turning to violence and using a pistol. That, that was the way the, 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 the liberal establishment responded to Islamist terrorism was to suggest that every religion is equally bad and equally capable of, of, of performing the same thing. He's the one who's going to change the whole world. There are tens of thousands. Bob, take care. Tens of thousands. And you, God bless you. And in, take care, Bob. Tens of thousands of Islamist terror plots that have been foiled, and there are tens of thousands that have been carried out globally. If you listened to the liberal narrative and believed it, you would be forgiven for believing that Christians have committed just as many terrorist attacks. Because that's the way they talk about religion. Because in their worldview, ideologically, they can't see a spade for a spade. They look at a spade and they call it a shovel. They, 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 they think that every religion is equally the same, capable of equally the same. And it's utter rubbish. And people buy into this narrative because they think that, that whatever is said on the TV is true. And because it appears on TV, it's true. And we've got to break out of that mindless, sheepish mentality of just believing the narrative that's given to us by the media establishment.
Oh, that answers your question. I completely agree with you. Thank you. Look after yourself. Simple question. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs>